morning friends welcome back to my channel infinite trade my name is robin and let's do our nifty and bank nifty analysis for tomorrow so tomorrow is the weekly expiry so we will have a kind of different plan for tomorrow so let us just see what happened in the market today okay so the first thing uh, if you observe so first let's check the daily candle so nifty had an indecision kind of candle and today we opened with a gap up and that gap was not filled and then we closed on the higher side similarly in bank nifty uh, so yesterday we had an inside candle and today again we have an inside candle but comparatively uh, with the mother so mother candle is this but we are still inside that okay so this is what happened so far and if you see uh, if you have to check the intraday levels so i'll just brief on what levels we spoke yesterday and whether trading was possible on that level today or not is something which we'll discuss so yesterday if you remember uh, i said that if nifty opens flat and if it breaks 16820 so if it closes above this so i think that was 16840 because the line was here but then i took it below to adjust these positions so above 840 i said uh, market will be bullish and it can test 17000 but however market opened gap up so since it opened with a big gap and it did not fill the gap but it traded uh, completely sideways and post three o'clock we saw some kind of short covering which led to uh, nifty to reach about 16970 so just a price action point here why we did not move upside immediately see market was falling continuously okay so the people who are bullish who are buying at the lower levels you know they will always have fear in their mind if market gaps down the next day or it falls suddenly because especially fis have been selling continuously in the month of december so every day they have sold some or the other thing so even today i think they sold somewhere around 700 crores but since the amount was a little less we saw some sort of short covering so let me just show you what happens so if you are a bull you know so definitely when you see a very big gap up the first thing that comes in your mind is to book your profits because you are not sure in and the market is uncertain at this moment so you're not sure and you always want to be on the safer side and you book your profits so that's what happened today and we saw a dip here but still uh, since it did not close below this level market immediately recovered and it was sideways completely and then once everyone understood that uh, post one o'clock or 1 30 until 2 2 30 there was no serious selling from fis people short covered their positions so this is what happened in nifty and in bank nifty so bank nifty we said that uh, you know market has to spend time here around 35000 and it should break which did not happen in the entire day but in the last 30 minutes market recovered you know a small consolidation and then uh, it gave a breakout and closed at the higher point so let's check the data and see what should be our plan for tomorrow so the first thing we usually check is the participant wise open interest so let's quickly check that check what happened it did not open up okay so here's the participant wise open interest so data definitely looks bullish so we see uh, future is in short so both fis and pros so that's okay we'll avoid this for now and index call 
very little quantity of cell okay just about 2700 and pros have 71000 call by okay which is a good number then this is what i was looking for so fis have sold 24000 puts and pros have sold 87000 puts so selling of put you know bring support in the market so this is what we needed and finally we have this so this gives a confidence that the market will not fall down because whenever they buy call options and they do not sell puts the market is usually confusing because the support isn't that strong so if you have a call long definitely you will uh, look for an opportunity to book it and if you have shorted put that is much more better because tomorrow is the expiry and it has the most uh, possible chance of becoming zero so let's quickly check the positions here so if i have closed uh, future long and created some short positions so that's okay it is not aggressive short and pros have also closed long position and created some short positions if you look at call options uh, long positions have been closed and short positions have also been closed similarly long positions have been created by pros and short positions have been closed and if you look at put options fs have closed long positions and created some good amount of shorts and pros have some uh, put buy along with a good amount of put short so usually this put buy can be for hedge or maybe for margin purpose but overall the market looks bullish and so i'm not sure if we would get a momentum upside but definitely the market is bullish so put short means we can definitely be rest assured that the market is not going to fall or it is not going to break any sort of an important level now let's quickly check the option chain so first let's check for bank nifty okay okay so if you look at bank nifty uh what is important here look at this uh change in oi for calls this is just about 10 lakh and if you look at put this is good 46 lakhs so put writing was more today and call writing isn't there much and the trend is definitely bullish so if you see here we can see a good amount of short covering that has happened and look at the figures here 22 percent 28 percent so these are not uh, big numbers that means call side nobody was selling it aggressively and if you look at put 68 78 77 percent around 60 percent so these are some decent numbers these are not uh, extremely good but these are decent numbers for support in the market let's quickly check the oi charts yes so overall the put writing is strong and also the change in open interest this is clearly visible put writing is strong and see call writing did not happen significantly here but definitely we have resistance at 35000 and so on and so forth so a short covering at 35000 can trigger an upside rally uh, giving trouble to these call sellers also okay so but on the downside we definitely have some good support so here we do not have call writers so there is not much of a position for call writers to defend this level at the moment so this is what the option chain says and let's look at nifty okay so this is nifty option chain so nifty's option chain is also bullish look at put this is around 62 lakhs and call is just about six lakhs so it is clearly visible that the put writing was heavier and the call is just used for hedging purpose and complete short covering happened today 
and look at put side 82 percent 74 percent 81 percent and we have a strong support at 16800 at the moment and we have a strong resistance at 17000 at the moment but 17000 we can also see some uh, exit that has happened in the second half when we saw some short covering so overall both nifty and bank nifty looks bullish similar case we can see that the put uh, is stronger based on change in open interest and call side the resistances are definitely there but today nobody had the guts to sell call options that's what we can understand so which means that the sentiment is bullish and the sentiment can continue tomorrow also now let's quickly discuss the chart so what should be the plan let's we'll see first let's quickly discuss bank nifty uh, let me move this to 15 minutes okay so if i've moved this to 15 minutes so all that you have to watch out for is uh, see we have already uh, broken 35000 and closed around 35100 okay which is 35095 so we have already given a breakout but not necessary that market should open here and it should continue market can open either gap up or maybe either gap down also so let's plan accordingly so 35000 we still have a call writer sitting here okay so this is a resistance so tomorrow what you should notice is we had a resistance somewhere here okay this is around 34 900 so all that you have to understand is what happened below 34 900 so below 34 900 market was volatile and it was completely sideways and then it gave a breakout so tomorrow in any case if we come below 34 900 for the first half we can expect again a sideways market and then there is a possibility that uh, you know we can give a breakout but not necessary but in case if we have to give a breakout either down or up what should happen market should spend time here and then it should break this level this level is 34680 if we break this then we can immediately test 34 400 okay but do not expect a fall or a big fall tomorrow looking at the positions created by created by fis and in case if we have to go up and break 35000 it has to spend some time here and then give a breakout upside and this can travel at least up to 35500 and if the short covering continues so 35500 is somewhere here so we'll aim to fill this gap so if the short covering continues we can also test 35750 tomorrow itself if the global trend is positive so this is a plan in case if we open below 34900 then this is going to be the problem because the 35000 call writers will uh, get aggressive and they'll start selling the call options but in case if we open above 34900 okay so we will not do anything just we'll wait for the swing to cross and we can immediately buy a call option preferably next week expiry and we can see an uh, immediate up move but since it's an expiry the up move can be a little slower but slow and steady it may test 30 Five five hundred levels. Okay, this is in case of flat opening. In case if we open gap up, say around thirty five two hundred. So we have a resistance at this place, which is thirty five two fifty. Okay. So if we are opening here, then definitely uh, we'll see a dip because this was a huge red candle. So in case if we open here, then definitely a profit booking will come 
whoever has taken a buy position here would like to book their profits because this is a resistance then we may slow and steady come here fill the gap and then do a lot of time pass here and then if we have to break this level all that we need is some consolidation here and then a breakout then we may test 35 500 but definitely if we open it 250 we'll see this dip until 35000 so this is the plan for bank nifty okay what if gap down so gap down we already discussed below 34900 then the market can be sideways for a trending market we will either look for this level for a consolidation and then a breakout or a consolidation here and then a breakout okay this is the plan for bank nifty let's quickly check nifty okay so nifty is already in a bullish territory because it did not uh, come beyond this so all that we have to watch out is 16900 okay so if at all nifty opens gap down or in any case it is coming below 16900 then the market can be sideways again like we discussed in bank nifty but in case if we open above 16900 which means a flat opening and if we cross this we are definitely going to test 1700 tomorrow okay so your target in this case if you're buying a call should be 17100 and in case if we break 16820 is when we can see a dip until 16700 an immediate 120 point fall but do not expect to fall beyond this at least for tomorrow but we are not going to look on a put entry but we are more interested in an entry which is upside the only thing is if we open gap down then the market can become sideways and volatile so this should be the plan for nifty and bank nifty tomorrow i hope uh, you all are enjoying the analysis and i hope things are interesting as well so we'll meet in another video uh, until then it's bye for now thank you